Thanks so much, Desmond. Well, we have another Abaco evacuee to tell you about tonight. Her name is Godidra Gardner, and she shared her story of survival with our Cleopatra Murphy. Khadija Gardner made it through the monster storm that was Hurricane Dorian as it ripped Abaco to shreds, destroying not only her home but entire communities. However, she says she endured both physical and mental scars. Gardner had her own moments through the turbulent storm when she thought she would die. Her four children, among them two nine-month-old twins and other family members, had to jump to safety two floors below as Dorian pounded. All the stairs blew away, so when I tried to hold on, to get to the bottom, I drop, and I, I don't know if I step on something, went up in my foot, I sprained my leg, when I dropped to the floor, and I was trying to hold on to the ground so that I wouldn't blow away. She counts herself lucky because neighbors were able to pull her and her family to safety, even as Dorian raged. Gardner spent four days at the Marsh Harbor Clinic and spent two days sleeping on the airport floor. Like many other Abaco residents, she too is now homeless. Still, she is grateful her family is intact as she grieves for parents who are suffering immensely. People lost their children. Like, I so thank God, like, my children are safe. People, children fl fly away, blow their hands. Plenty of them children drown. They couldn't, they couldn't save, they try and they have more than one child, trying to save one child and then get the next child and then they end up losing one. The mother is still trying to comprehend the level of destruction left to her island by Hurricane Dorian. It's a disaster. I never thought that one day I would experience something like that. Everybody thought it was just like, okay, like hurricane winds or just a little bit of wet up, but it was like literally bad. Gardner says she has nothing left on Abaco and she may never return. She now wants to build a new life for her family, the youngest of whom she says have been traumatized. Cleopatra Murphy, S Network News.